Hey, what's going on guys? Tyler here, and today we'll be doing something really awesome. We'll be setting up a portable hacking lab. And when I say portable, I mean USB stick, stick into your pocket, take wherever you go type of portable. So we'll be taking Kali Linux, a hacking operating system, installing it onto this USB drive, and then you'll be able to take this, plug it into any computer, and then boot to the USB stick, and you'll have your full-on Kali Linux operating system with all the hacking tools. So by default, you won't be able to save any apps or files to a bootable version of Kali Linux unless we set up a persistent partition, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. So let's get into it. All right, so two things we need before we get started is the Kali Linux ISO and then Rufus. So I'll have links down below in the description of where you can find those. So let's go ahead and take a look. So if we go to Kali Linux downloads, we can see that we have Kali Linux right here, 64-bit live. Make sure that you select the live one, otherwise this won't work. Then let's go up to Rufus here. And so Rufus is going to allow us to create a bootable USB drive. So make sure that you go ahead and download that as well. Okay, so once you have Rufus installed, you want to go ahead and select your USB drive. So I have mine selected right here. And then we'll need to go ahead and select the Kali Linux Live ISO. So again, mine's right here. Double click on that. And then right here, persistent partition size. So essentially, this is where we're going to go to create our storage space on our uh, Linux partition. So as you can see, my uh, USB drive is only eight gigabytes. And so the max I can set here is three. If you have a larger USB drive, say 16, 32, 64 gig, whatever, um, then you'll be able to increase the, the storage space here. Now you can come down here and give your uh, USB drive a name, optional, everything else. Let's go ahead and leave default. We'll go ahead and click on start. And this is going to Take a while. All right, so check it out. Now that you have your USB stick uh, formatted with Kali Linux, this is where you would plug it into a computer and then you would boot into that USB. All right, so in order to show you how this works, I have a uh, virtual machine here on my VMware workstation and it's going to allow me to boot into uh, the USB that we just created. So as you can see, we have Kali right here. So let's go ahead and choose the live USB persistence. All right, so as you can see, we've got Kali Linux right here. It's booted off of the USB stick. So what we'll do here now, just to confirm that the uh, persistent partition that we set up is configured correctly, we're going to go ahead and look for a file. But first, we're going to elevate our privileges to root. So as you can see, if we do a who am I, we are the root user, meaning we have full privileges. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for a file called persistence config. So the command that we'll use is find space slash space dash name and then persistence.conf. So what we're saying here is we're telling Kali to go ahead and find a file named persistence config. All right, so this is the one that we wanna go to, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change directory, so CD, and then we're gonna go to this path right here. I'll change directory there, oops, typo, get rid of that space. Try it again, okay. So if we do an ls, you can see that uh, we're in that file path. And then now what we need to do is just go ahead and view the contents of that file. So uh, cat would be the command and then the name of the file. And then as you can see here, this is the only text within the file. So that file is configured correctly, so that's all good. What we'll do here now is exit out of root. I'm gonna clear the screen. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and change into the desktop directory. So that's what we see here, this directory right here. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a couple files and then this is just to show as a proof of concept that when we restart the OS, files are still going to be there because we have that persistence configured. So what we'll do here is we'll do touch to create a new file and we'll do file one and we can create another one, file two. And then as you can see here, we've got the two files on the desktop. So let's go ahead and add some uh, data in there. So we can do it from the command line with echo and then we can say, this is my data. And then we'll send that into file one. And then we can go up and do it again. This is my other data. And we'll send that into file two. So now if we go ahead and open both of these, we got file one, this is my data. File two, this is my other data. Let's go ahead and reboot the system. And then we'll verify that those files still exist once the system boots back up. All right, so again, we'll choose live USB persistence, and then it'll take a minute here to load. All right, so as you can see here, we're back in Kali. We have both the files here, so our partition is set up correctly. We go ahead and open up those files. Our data is still there. This is my data, file two. This is my other data. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos that help you build the skills that you need to succeed in the field of IT and cybersecurity.